Hi, in this session I'm going to cover the Find and Replace feature in Excel. Now this is used to search for text or values and optionally replace them. How do we get it into this window? Well, in the Home tab under the ribbon, go under the Editing Group and in Find Select you'll see that we have a Find and Replace selection here. If I click under Find, it's going to bring up this window and you'll notice that there's a Find tab and there's a Replace tab. Let me go ahead and close that. If we selected the Replace tab, it will just bring up the same window and you'll have the Replace tab activated. There's also a keyboard shortcut to bring this window up. Let me close this. It's either Control F for Find or Control H for the Replace tab activated. I'm just going to bring up the Replace tab. So I do Control H. Let me scoot this back up here. And let's say that for our first example, we want to find, uh, we want to find and replace these red cell with green. Now that's going to be under the Options tab where we can have more selections and we want to basically change the formatting. So what do we want to find? We want to find, uh, we want to go ahead and click under that drop down, go to Choose Format from Cell and it brings up an eyedropper here that lets us select the formatting from the cell. So I'm going to select that and what do we want to replace it with? I'm also going to click the drop down or I can just click the format here basically and it'll bring up another window and the fill, I want to go and fill and I want to change it to green let me go and click OK I'll click and find all and see if it found everything and you see it's found cell A2, A3, A4 let me do a control A in here and you'll notice that it's selected all the cells here so look on, I'll go ahead and do replace all because I wanted to have it all green so now that's an example of how we change formatting with the Find and Replace feature. Let me go and click OK. Let me go ahead and remove this, clear this, and clear this. Let's try another example. What if we wanted to look for the number 0 in our table and just change them to blank? So here we want to do is find the number 0. Let me go ahead and type in 0 here and do a Find All. Whoops, I think it's selected that. Let me just go ahead and select something out here. Or I can basically just select the whole table here and do a find all. And it found uh, zeros in any of the cells that had a zero. So this has, has a zero, 50, this has a zero. And that's not what I really want because if I just did, if I just did a find all and did a replace all, you notice if I replace it with a blank, I, I left that blank. You notice that it even replaced the ones that had that I didn't really intend it to be replaced. Let me go ahead and click OK and undo that. Let me go ahead and click undo, or basically Control Z that will undo any of your uh, previous commands. What I really want is just anything that has a zero in there, and I need to check off this box, match entire cell contents. And if, after I check off that and I do a find all, it's only going to find the cells that have just the zero in there. And I want to have that be a blank. Let me replace all. And you'll notice that now they're all blank. Those four, those four cells are all blank. So that's the way to, to find specific values within a cell. You have to do the match entire cell contents. Now what if we wanted to find special characters? Uh, I have these special characters in here like these question marks and what you'll also come to discover is question marks are a wildcard search uh, such and the other wildcard search character is an asterisk so let me show you an example. If I want to find everything in here, I did everything, what that would do, let me click find all, is it found it'll find everything. Now the blank cells don't have any values in there so it's not going to find anything. But what if I wanted to find uh, anything that had the word product space and one character. So I type in product space and then a question mark. Let me do a find all. And it'll find all the product uh, everything that has, let me do control A, and you'll see it a little bit better. You'll find everything that has product, space, and then the character. The question mark is the wildcard for the character, but it won't find product 10 because it has two characters here. So what if I just want to find this character here, the question mark after the numbers, and change it, 
maybe change the formatting. Get rid of the question mark and change the formatting to yellow. Well, that would mean that I would need to have a, another special character to indicate that it's not a wild card. And that other special character is the tilde character. Now, that's the that's the key that's the key that's right next to the number 1 on your keyboard. It's this little wavy line here. Now, I would put that there and then put a question mark there and uh, uncheck this. And I do a find all. Whoops. Let me go ahead and select it. I'll go ahead and do a find all and you'll notice that now control A it had found the five cells that had that in there. I want to, now I said before I wanted to remove the question mark so I'll just do a little I think I can just do uh, an empty cell there and I'll format that do the drop down here do it another way do a drop down and make that yellow. Let me see if that works. Replace all. Nope. I needed to have that space there. So what I'm going to do is uh, undo and in here put just tap the spacebar one time and click replace all and now it's replaced those five and made them yellow. So that's an example of using some special characters to find and replace uh, some values. Let me go ahead and re uh, clear this clear that out there. Uh, another example I want to show is how to find line breaks. There are line breaks up here in these cells uh, and to perform a line break, to insert a line break, after the word you want it to have the line break uh, occur is you just press Alt, e Alt, Enter. So let me go ahead and delete that. You see now that space is gone. I just press Alt, Enter that creates a line break. Now let's say that I didn't want that line break in there and I have maybe uh, tens, maybe a hundred of these cells that had it like that. Now, I didn't want to go one by one to change them to maybe hyphen sales hyphen north or sales hyphen south or some, something else. What I would need to do is find that line break. And a line break is denoted by, it can be denoted by the ASCII character code. And if you search on the web for ASCII It'll bring up a table of all the ASCII codes that would associate with different characters. Now, with the line break, that's associated with the ASCII code 010. To enter that in here, you need to enter it in with the number keypad. If you tried to enter it with the regular numbers that show up on top of your keyboard, like the 1 and 2, 3, 4 that shows up on top of QWE, that wouldn't work. But if your keyboard doesn't have a keypad, you can. It might have a special. It might have a toggle, a function key where you can turn some of the keys into a keyboard. On my keyboard, you have to. Pre I have to press function, scroll lock, and under there, there's a number lock, and the number lock icon would show up. And there are some keys that are associated with a keypad. Now, after I do that, in the, the find what cell, I would have to type. I would have to press the Alt key, and then zero one zero. Now it doesn't show up, but it's there. And the reason why I know it's there is if I do a find all, it will find those cells. Now we see we have these cells, control A. To see that a little bit better, you see now that it's selected. Now let's say that I want to replace that with just a hyphen. So I'll do a space, hyphen, space, and replace all. And now you see it's all replaced here. Now for our last example, let's say that we want to change the formulas. Let's say down here at the bottom I have some average functions that averages out these cells up here and I wanted to change that into a sum. So I'll just have to go into control, I type in, I use the keyboard shortcut control H to bring up the find replace window and average, let me see, let me just select this whole table. Uh, average, I'll just use A, V, E, just a couple words to show it already do a find all and you will notice that it has found anything that says has the average in it so I want to change oh no I want to I, I actually probably want to type the whole thing out so average average or a g e and I want to change the cell with the formula so I'll put equal equal average find all and now it's found all four of these 
and I want to change that to sum equal s u m. Oops, I had the number lock on, and now you now this will show you that I had the number lock on. So I'm going to turn it off. Function number lock, and now it's off. So I want to turn those average functions into a sum function. Find all, of course, it found it again, and I'll just go ahead and click replace all. And now, if I click on here, these are all sums. And I would just change that to total sales. So there you have it. Here's a, there's a couple examples of how to use the find replace feature in Excel. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.